peninsula is an industrial wasteland. Over the last two centuries, it has hosted a series of environmentally disastrous activities which have left the soil soaked with pollutants and the water saturated with poison. In the 18th century, the peninsula was a residential area. In 1930, Allied Feeds established a flour mill on the site. A timber treatment plant was added in 1942, then a gas works. Then during World War II, an explosives factory. Union Carbide reclaimed land using industrial waste. Then pesticides and herbicides were made on the site. Chlorobenzenes, chlorophenols, dioxin, furanes, and Agent Orange. that have similar structures and similar mechanism of action and similar effects. Dioxins are extremely persistent chemicals. Because of their structure, they're resistant to both physical and biological degradation. Dioxins get introduced into the environment by a variety of ways. Either they're directly discharged into, the, into water, and then what happens when it gets into water is dioxins are sticky molecules. They don't like water very well. They'd rather be in fatty tissues or fatty material and they'll bind to particles, settle out into the sediment. The sediment actually gets eaten by small critters and they begin to bioaccumulate up the aquatic food chain. Dioxin is not your typical kind of toxic chemical which might affect one kind of effect, might only cause neurotoxicity or reproductive toxicity or cancer. Dioxin seems to have the ability to interfere with basic processes in our bodies so that in fact dioxin has been shown in our experimental animal studies and now we're seeing more of this in our human studies, dioxin has been shown not only to cause cancer but to cause effects on the skin, to cause effects on the gastrointestinal system, to cause effects on the reproductive system, on the immune system, on the cardiovascular system, on the endocrine system, um, and on the nervous system as well. But dioxins are chemicals that have been shown to affect every class of vertebrates, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals. They've been shown to affect both males and females. They've been shown to affect many, many different kinds of tissues and organs. They've been shown to have effects during development, during childhood, during adulthood, in our animals. It's hard for me to think that people are going to be that different.